In this lesson, we'll see how we can create a nice and simple eye and how to create controls for that to make the eyes to be ready for animation. I'm going to apply a simple texture so that I will be knowing which is my, uh, which is the eye that needs to be pointed forward. So I'll right click and choose blend. I'll go ahead and choose ramp shader for the color ramp. And I'll remove one of these, bring this up, we'll make white color here, and some darker color, so it'll be like black. Okay, to make that texture visible here, I'll press 60. Okay, so let's take those, I'll make it something like that. Okay, and if I want, I can add more uh, different colors also, a darker. That's good. Now I have to make this eye look forward. Okay, so I'll go to my channel box, select the object, rotate, I think the Z axis 90 degrees. Oh, that went there. I'll choose minus 90 degrees so that it will face positive x axis. Okay, that's good. Now before moving on, I will uh, delete the history, trace transformation and delete history. Okay. Now, I want to create uh, some uh, eyelids also. I will create another sphere. This time I'm going to make it somewhat bigger. I'll increase the radius to 1.2. Press 4 to see how it's looking from the inside. Okay, nice. And this one, I will reduce these divisions. Okay, so let's keep something like 6. I will rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, and this uh, height divisions, I want to have some, what, 8, 12, I think. Okay, not that one. 6 for this and subdivision axis will be 12. So that we have more details to modify. Okay. So I'm just going to delete some of these faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let me pick up these and delete. So now I will also make some little mod modeling change here. I'll choose uh, edges. All these outside ones I will do a little extrude. Bring it inside. Okay. Not too much, just a little bit so that it's actually hiding the eye. Let's go ahead and smooth it out and see how that looks. Okay, that's nice. So that's the eye. Okay. So once that much is completed, we can make a duplicate of this, take it out. Make sure that if you have deleted the history and frozen transformation before. And with this duplicated one, we have to modify this vertices. So select these vertices, pull them up. Select these vertices, pull them further up. And then we can select all these things together, pull them further up. Pull it up here and stick all these things together Hold them up. now we have one eyelid that is closed and the other eyelid that is open you just smooth that out to see how they both look okay that's nice now all I have to do is create the blend shape. So I'll select this one, make sure that you're in object mode, shift select this one, and go to create deformers, options, you can give a name for the blend shape. So I will name this as eye, eyelid or eyeballs or whatever name you like, and click. And now if I select this one, I can actually hide this, I'll 
create a new layer and hide that out. So this is the only thing that we want to make it visible. And if I control that, I will be able to make it move. Now if you want, you can also make one more duplicate for the complete closure. In this case, I Okay, so let's smooth it out. Okay, that looks good. And now I will have to add this uh, new blend shape to the existing shape, existing uh, blend shape. Okay, this is too much inside. Okay, now I'll select this, shift select this, and go to uh, Edit Deformers, Blend Shape, and say Add. So now if we select this one, we will have something new. So the first one will just open it up wide and the second one will close it. So if I just smooth it out, add this thing to this existing layer, so that will hide. Good. And this one will close and open. Okay. And this one will further open. So you can basically create one uh, attribute, new attribute for an eye control and make or create two uh, set driven keys based on these two values. So that will create the eyeball animation. Sorry, eyelid animation. So that will create the eyelid animation. Now let's see how these uh, eyeballs that we have created uh, can be rotated. So for these eyeball rotation, we will have to create a dummy object that is create locator. Okay, so the locator is created down inside the center. I'll bring it out. Okay. I'll freeze the transformation. Edit, delete by, sorry, modify, freeze transformation. Edit, delete by type history. Okay. Now, <coughs> I have to create a aim constraint between the locator and the eye. So first, before creating the uh, constraint, we have to find out which is the axis that is pointing towards this object so that uh, we will make sure that that particular axis is controlling or being controlled by the locator. So I'll select the eye, go to display, transform display local rotation axis. So this will basically show us the axis at which uh, the eye, eye is pointing towards the controller. So here it is x-axis and y-axis is up. So all I have to do is make x-axis to be the aim axis and y-axis to be the up axis. I'll select the controller, select the eyeball, go to constraint, aim constraint options. Here, for aim vector, I will choose x-axis, so 1 here and 0, 0 for y and z. And up axis is y, so 0, 1, and 0. Let's hit add. And now you will notice that if I move this locator, the eyeball will point exactly at the locator. That's great. So once that much is done, all we have to do is make a duplicate of the same. Let's push it out. Now, for the second eye, everything else will work except the blend shape. For the blend shape, we'll have to create again. But apart from the blend shape, we just have to make one small thing here. We'll select the controller, select the eyeball and go to constraint and choose aim constraint. So now if I select both these controllers you will see that both the eyes are moving together. Okay, that's great. Now still just by having these controllers we will have to select both of them together in order to make a move. So what we will do is we'll create one circle that's a rotated 90 degrees. Okay, let's try to bring it to the center. Go to front view, there it is. Let's scale it to the y axis. Let's pull it 
up. Okay, good enough. And we have to move it near the controllers. So that's there. Okay, before we finalize, let's freeze the transformation, delete the history, give a name. Call this CC I control. And all we have to do is select these two things and select the controller, hit P, so that now this controller will basically control both the eyes. Once you're done, select these two things, go to display, transform display, local rotation axis, and that's it. So now we have the controls of the eye, and the eyeballs are moving the way we want. So this is about how we can create a simple eye and how we can uh, connect it to the uh, controllers to make the eyeballs move. The same blend shape can also be used to create mouths and any other kinds of uh, simple movements. Say for example, a simple mouth can be created with torus. So I have a torus. Now let me turn off the... Okay. And I will reduce the number of divisions to make it easy for us to work with. Okay, I'll make it something like six. I'll bring it down. Rotate it 90 degrees. I will put it somewhat in the center just to illustrate the mouth position. I want to make this radius a bit bigger. Okay, good enough. So now, uh, let me just increase this subdivision to be 8. Yes, that's good. So all I have to do is make lots of different shapes similar to this. I'll go ahead and choose my vertex make this to look like a starting pose. So we push these two things down, push this a little bit up, and these two things also up. Okay, so we can consider this to be the starting pose of the mouth. So I'll go ahead and press 3, so you can see that that looks like a mouth. Now we have to create multiple shapes. So I will go ahead and duplicate that, move it out, Okay, so we can make uh, something like a happy face by pushing these two things up. I'll use the front view, that would be easy. Select these two things. Smooth that out and see. Select it. Press 3. See that looks like a sad face. This looks like a happy face. And this looks like a normal one. So we basically have three different output positions. So I will select these three. Go to create two farmers. Okay, I will undo that one step. I'll go ahead and choose. Uh, create deformers, blend shape options. I'll put a name here as uh, mouth and say create. So now if I select this one, I will have all these two different uh, mouth positions. So if I just modify this, it becomes sad, and if I modify this, it becomes happy. So we can create a control. Uh, we can create a control curve and create an attribute and assign those attributes to this, uh, I mean, connect those attributes to these uh, blend shapes, and finally we can just hide these things into a layer that we don't use. 